Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your February tarot forecast. I feel like surrender, close the eyes, jump, trust this process. There is so much support right now from the universe to bring you more money, more expansion, opportunity. I feel like a lot of you have new ideas or there's gonna be new proposals coming your way. I also feel like a lot of you are starting to, it's like you're entering this new level, which makes sense because we have the South node in Libra. That sign, so with the North node in Aries is asking you to uh, reinvent yourself and it's all year. The South node in Libra, this is asking you to stop being who you've been up until now, the things that don't benefit you, the old habits, behaviors, ideas, self-limiting beliefs, etc. There's a lot of things that you're letting go of and um, a lot of that is connected to how you show up in relationships and what you expect from your relationships. And that's uh, finances, that's your job, that's your, um, your friendships, your family, your, like all relationships for you for the next year, really for all of us, but because the self note is in your sign, it's like extra strong, but like the relationships and the transformation happening right now is mind blowing. Who you will be in a year from now is going to be a very different person than who you are now. But there's two things coming through. One, it's like you need to take more time to focus on your self value and your worth. Um, so if there's any mental blocks, which for sure there are because we all have them, like any blocks in your mind about you not being enough. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, people pleasers and you're, you're over giving and it's because there's maybe a deep program in the mind from childhood or an early relationship or just society that is like kind of telling you you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, you're not um, skilled enough, whatever the blah, blah, blah bullshit is, it's in your mind, it's like, you have this deep program telling you that you are not lovable or that you are not whatever, that you don't deserve something. And I think that a lot of that stems from an old trauma. Maybe some of you, okay, this is interesting. This is coming through. Some of you, when you start to meditate on why you feel low self-worth, you're gonna start noticing, and maybe it's not like the lowest self-worth ever, like no, but it's like, even for me, like I'm confident, I know who I am, like I'm, I'm good. But like there are times where for sure I will like doubt myself, where I will be triggered in a relationship or something will happen and I'll feel like, well of course they're lying or of course they're cheating or of course they're doing these things because like how could anyone actually love me or want me or whatever, I'm not good enough is the program in the back of my mind sometimes depending on how it shows up and maybe one day it's really strong Maybe one day it's just really subtle, but there's a deep program there in my mind from my childhood, from my parents' divorce, from whatever bullshit happened in my life, um, abuse, etc. And it's like this idea that people can just take me, use me, that I'm easily discarded, that I'm easily forgettable, that I, whatever. And it's like, when we have those old programs in the mind, it makes us act in weird ways. It makes us, do things like, I remember the other day, like my partner was like walking into the room and I could hear him coming. And when I could hear him coming, I was like sitting there kind of just like, and I heard him coming and then I was thinking like, oh, like let me just adjust my hat and, and put my body upright. Because like, of course, if my partner were to see me like this, maybe that makes me look ugly, maybe I look stupid, maybe I look fat, maybe I look all these things, and because of these reasons, he's not gonna love me anymore, and then he's gonna go lie, and he's gonna cheat, and he's gonna do, and it's like all these stupid fucking programs in my mind, and I'm thinking like, this person loves me no matter what, you know? And it's like, I'm lucky we don't all have that kind of relationship, and sometimes we have it, and sometimes we don't, and sometimes it shows up, and sometimes it's later, or earlier, or whatever. It's like, not every relationship I've had was like that really like healthy you know but it's just like the overall energy is i notice and i'm asking you to examine where in your life do you do things that are driven by some old unconscious program and it could be as simple as like 
oh, I better fix my hat and my posture because I hear someone coming. And this makes me more presentable, which means I'm more acceptable, which is actually me searching for safety because I didn't feel safe as a child growing up in my home because whatever reason, you know? So it's like, there's all of these things that are in our mind. And, and that's the first thing that's coming up because when we start to clear those and we start to meditate and understand that whether I'm like this or I'm like this or whatever, it's like, I am still nine of coins worthy. I am still fucking worthy. I am still beautiful. I am still gifted. I am still unique and amazing. And like, fuck yes, I am. And I believe that. And my belief for that is getting more strong, but there's still these old things that come up. And the reason they come up is because they're clearing. But it's harder for us to clear them if we don't notice them. When we notice something, like what I just said, you hear someone coming and then you notice that you're adjusting yourself and you're like, why do I do that? That is you illuminating it. And you're gonna do that with, maybe uh, your phone bill arrives and immediately there's this fear that like, oh my God, like if I pay this, am I not gonna have money for this? Am I get and yeah, you'll be fine. The universe is here supporting you. Like the resources, the abundance, everything's gonna come. It's always been working out for you. It will continue to work out for you. Like. Don't be scared. Don't support that old scarcity program. Don't support that old program that you are not lovable, even if you're like this. And you know what I mean? It's like, so these old ideas, they're coming up for clearing. So that is one of the first things that I'm seeing here, okay? The other thing that is really strong is that like, we're gonna get to this last row because this is like full of opportunities, which I love, but there's just so much focusing on like, I have queen of swords reverse with the devil reverse, which is like cutting out these old toxic programs, like cutting out these old toxic programs in the mind, these self-limiting beliefs or um, fears, whatever. This is a card of reinvention and healing the mind, okay? Reinvention and healing the mind. If what I'm saying right now, you're sitting here being like, wow, this is resonating. Then like, when we're done here, we're still gonna talk for a bit, but when we're done here, go and watch the Aquarius season workshop. You can pay whatever you want, okay? Like literally $1, I don't care. But like, we are now in Aquarius season, okay? Aquarius energy. This is all about focusing on our fixed mindsets. So our old stories, the stories that we believe and we tell ourselves every day, so you're not good enough or whatever it is, whatever those fears are, the anxiety, it's all deeply rooted to an old belief system, an old program in the mind. And that story started somewhere. You weren't born with that. That was given to you, you believed it, and then you kept feeding it and it kept getting stronger. Well, bitch, Pluto is now in Aquarius and Pluto is death and rebirth. So. Aquarius season is amplified because Pluto is in Aquarius for the next 20 years. You have 20 years to reset your mind. Now, how you start that 20 years is very important because it plants the seeds for the next 20 years. So after you watch Aquarius season workshop, watch the Pluto in Aquarius workshop. They're both pay what you can. I think the Pluto is like a sliding scale. Now, you have an opportunity right now, Queen of Swords Reverse, to stop thinking like that. When you stop thinking like that, your behavior changes. When your behavior changes, your actions and habits change. When your actions and habits change, how you feel changes. When your feelings change, your emotions change. How do you manifest? You need to hold the emotion of what you wanna create and call in, and your emotions are connected to our energy field and it radiates out that emotion. So the emotion of feeling expansive and supported and love and trusting, and I'm rich and I'm independent, that has a very specific emotion. That emotion, the more I feel it, it signals to the universe, this is how I feel, this is what I want the universal law will bring you a matching vibration. So, the thoughts, the ideas connected to the habits, habits connected to the actions, actions, how we feel, how we feel calls it in. If you change what you think and you change what you believe, then your 
actions and your habits will change. Of course, easier said than done, but you can commit to actively working on reinventing your stories in the mind and actively working on taking different behaviors and actions. When you think different and you act different, you feel different. When you feel different, you attract better things because you're increasing your vibration. So this is what you have an opportunity to do right now, but you need to do that when you illuminate these old programs and you can identify which you wanna be letting go of. Self, node in Libra, letting go. At any time this year, you should also watch the nodes workshop because I, I'm not just like blowing this shit out of my ass. like. I'm in the same way that I'm here, channeling helpful information. These workshops are meant to support you helping and supporting yourself so that you can figure out how to enhance and improve your life overall. Better love, relationships, money, etc. So it's like, you can't just watch these readings and think it's enough, okay? It's not, you need to do something about it. So that's why I have these very affordable resources, okay? And if you're going out for lunch, it's like, bitch, you can skip one lunch and like buy yourself something that will actually help change your life. Now, these are new ideas. This is expansive opportunity. This is satisfaction. This is better security. This is better security. So your home, maybe some of you are thinking about moving or you wanna redecorate or you wanna reestablish your home in a new way, set up some new furniture or whatever. It's just like painting a wall. I feel like what you need in your relationships to feel safe, to feel heard, to feel respected, to feel understood, compassionate. It's like all of these things are changing for you because you are seeing your value in a different way. Remember nine of coins. You need to value yourself in a new way and you need to get very clear on your boundaries. King of swords. This is saying you're not engaging. You're not giving your love, your attention, your affection. You're not getting involved in projects and things that don't benefit you. It's not equal exchange. You're not fucking doing it. And for you to do that, especially when you've been in like, you know, people pleaser mode for so long, it's like, it's going to be challenging. But this page of coins and page of wands is saying you have new ideas. You have new opportunity to plant seeds and establish a new foundation and all of that New foundation, new foundation is connected to what? New behaviors and action. And all of that is connected to what? A new idea of yourself and who you are and your perspective. So that, the mindset, the actions, the results begin to lead to more safety and security, feeling better about who you are, and in turn, equaling a nine of cups, which is you feeling totally satisfied with the direction that you're moving in and everything that you're co-creating. So if you want support for that, if you're still here, I bet you do, go and watch the Aquarius season workshop, okay? I fucking love you. I will see you very soon. Ciao. Send this to a friend. Also, share it on your Instagram story. I'm here. I support you. You support me. See you soon. Ciao.